war, war, then that's what you gon' get with that war, war, Jeremiah 51 and 20. Battle axes, God's weapons of war. We don't battle axes, God's weapons of war. We on the corner and we ready for war. And I know you ain't seen nothing like this before. We the battle axes, God's weapons of war. We the battle axes, God's weapons of war. Switch out these readers right quick. Uh, give me the book of Nehemiah, chapter 8, verse 10, right quick. Give me Nehemiah chapter 8, verse 10. Oh, now you got one over there. Nathan, you give me Nehemiah 8 and 10. I, you give me Sirach chapter 19, verse 20. Because the thing is, I heard you say, what is your strength? You do need to play to your strengths. The strength that you need to play to is the Bible, brother. Gathering around righteous brothers that's keeping the commandment. Sister, we out here for you, sis. When well, you gonna come up out of that lifestyle, sis. You ain't gonna make it to the kingdom like that, man. The most high God made you to be a princess, not a prince, sis. You understand that? Because guess what? That is black on black crime when sisters is dealing in that type of sexuality, sis. That's the genocide of our people, sis. You need to shake that thing. Read this up. This is the book of Nehemiah, chapter 8. In verse 10, brother, what's your name? You need to pay attention to this to this scriptures, brother. Because I'm giving you the answers to the things that you're dealing with. This is your joy. Because guess what? When these scriptures come out, it's always a distraction to come out. Brother. That's right. You ain't noticed that. That's right. When the brother was dealing with you, what were you concentrating on the train? Now when I'm dealing with you, you you listen to the brother. That's over right. Here. Listen to these scriptures, brother. Read this out. Then he said unto them, Go your way. Eat the fat. Do what? Eat the fat. We don't not. And drink the sweet. We don't not. And send portions unto them for whom nothing is prepared. We don't not. For this day is holy unto our Lord. Read that again, huh? For this day is holy unto our Lord. This day right here is the Sabbath, brother. This day is holy unto the Lord thy God, brother. Because the performance of keeping the commandments, that's how you get more and more understanding. You understand, brother? We don't not. Neither be sorry. Uh-huh. For the joy of the Lord is your strength. Read that again for the brother. Neither be sorry. For the joy of the Lord is your strength. The joy of the Lord, brother, guess what? That's your strength, brother. The Most High God takes joy in us, what? Keeping the commandments, brother. That's what you need to be doing. Read this, Sirach, chapter 19 and verse 20. Break it out. The fear of the Lord is all wisdom. Is what? Is all wisdom. So once you start to fear the Lord, that means keep his commandments. Read on out. And all wisdom is the performance of the law. Read that last part again, huh? And all wisdom is the performance of the law. So in order to be wise, brother, in order to shake that spirit like Captain Maccabee was going into, what must you do? Apply the laws, brother. The only way you apply the laws is being around righteous brothers to teach you the law, brother. You understand that? That gets you off these streets and into this Bible. Read on, huh? And the knowledge of his omnipotency. And the knowledge of his what? Omnipotency. Because guess what? The Most High God is omnipotent, meaning all-knowing, all-powerful, brother. You want to be on the right side of that, man. You understand that, brother? Give me the book of Zephaniah, chapter 2, verse 1. Uh, slide down, son. You give me Hebrews, chapter 10, verse uh, 25. Uh, because this is how you practice these things. Read this. Uh, Hebrews, chapter 10, and verse 25. Read on. Not forsaken the assembling of ourselves together. Read that again for the brother. The assembly of ourselves together. It says not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together, brother. We don't know. As the manner of some is. As the manner of some is, because a lot of times our people don't want to gather amongst each other, brother. Because if you gather amongst us, guess what we're gonna be doing? Rebuking your behind. Like guess what? Throw that cigarette down, brother. That's what's that's what's taking you away from the most high God, brother. Give me first Corinthians chapter 3, verse 16. Bring it out, we'll bring it out. To that. Read this again, huh? Not forsaking the assembly of ourselves together. We don't, huh? As the manner of some is. But what, huh? But exhorting one another. We exhort you because guess what? Me telling you to throw down that cigarette, that's exhorting you. Because guess what? Cigarettes ain't doing nothing but killing your body out, bro. That's right. When you look these things up, man, they numb your fingers. Some of these people getting their legs amputated. That's right. Getting their toes amputated, getting their fingers amputated because they don't want to put them down cigarettes down, brother. The Most High God don't want to deal with you when you're full of nicotine, brother. You understand that? Read on, huh? And so much the more. Uh-huh. And ye see the day approach. Because we're trying to exhort you because guess what? Christ is coming back with fire, brother. A lot of times our people think...
think it's a game, but it's no game that's going to be played on this planet Earth when the Messiah step on the scene, man. See, our people got sebo in their damn head, man. This white man. This is what they got on their brain. Sister, you need to listen to this truth too, sis. Because we out here for you. You can shake that, man. Come back to your royal status, how the most high God created you. Uh, read this. Uh, this is the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 3, and verse 16. Break it out. Know ye not that you are the temple of God? Read that again, huh? Know ye not that you are the temple of God? Read that again, huh? Know ye not that you are the temple of God? You are the temple of God, brother. Read on, huh? And that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you? And the Spirit of God want to dwell in you, but now why you got this cigarette, brother? Read on, huh? If any man defile the temple of God. If any man defile the temple of God by what? Smoking cigarettes, eating pork, celebrating wicked holidays. Read on, huh? Him shall God destroy. Read that again, huh? Him shall God destroy. Read that again, huh? Him shall God destroy. The most high God going to destroy you if you don't repent and turn back to the commandments, brother. You understand that? Read some Mark chapter 19, verse 20 again, man. Start at verse 19. Because that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to seal up the 144,000. That's right. And get to the kingdom, man. Huh. Read this out. Chapter 21, verse 11. Bring it up! Read this up. Sarah, chapter 21, and verse 11. He that keepeth the law of the Lord, getteth the understanding thereof. Read that again, huh? He that keepeth the law of the Lord, getteth the understanding thereof. So the only way you're going to get the understanding, brother, is by gathering amongst brothers. That's keeping the commandments. And keep the commandments yourself, brother. You have to apply yourself to this knowledge, brother. That's right. You understand that? Read on, huh? And the perfection of the fear of the Lord is wisdom. Is what? Is wisdom. Is what? Is wisdom. Is what? Is wisdom. Is wisdom. Is wisdom. You have to learn to perfect that thing, brother. Because guess what? Give me uh, Judges chapter five, verse eleven. Uh, yeah. You have to do a righteous rehearsal, brother. Because guess what? Rehearsal gonna be over with. Then it's gonna be game time, man. Uh, and right. we gonna see if you're gonna be ready for the game. Bring it out. Read this right here. This is the book of Judges, chapter five and verse eleven. Break it out. They that are delivered from the noise of archers. That's what you want to be delivered from, the noise of archers, man. Because back in the days when you shot a bow and arrow, they didn't make no noise. But guess what? These ICBMs, that's what's going to make the noise on this planet, man. We don't know. In places of drawing water. Because guess what? Places of drawing water is going into life of servitude. We the ones that's on the bottom, brother. We the ones that's uh, first fire, last hire. We don't know. There, there shall they rehearse the righteous acts of the Lord. It says there. Over here in the place of servitude shall we rehearse the righteous acts of the Lord. We don't know. Even the righteous acts toward the inhabitants of the villages in Israel. In what? In Israel. That's what our homeland is, brother. That's what we're trying to get back to, man. We don't want to be over here in no wicked ass America, man. We're trying to go home, man. We're trying to seal up the 144,000, uh, brother. That's right. And guess what? It might be you that we might be waiting on. Brothers that's holding up the lines, man. Guess what? You got to shake that thing, brother, and get into this Bible. Give me the other book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 7, verse uh, 24. Wake up! Drop down to verse 25. Verse 25. I applied my heart to know. Read that again. I, I applied my heart to know. Brother, you got to apply your heart to know. Your heart, according to the Bible, is what? Your mind. Give me Mark chapter 7, verse 21. You got to apply yourself, brother. You got to constantly be doing these things. And guess what? You got to endure to the end, brother. That's right. You can't let up, man. Because guess what? That's why you got brothers to hold you up. Oh. Read this up. Mark chapter 7 and verse 21. Break it out. Adultery. You understand that? Physically and 
spiritually. Because guess what? There's a lot of our people spiritually committing a whoredom out here. Huh. We don't uh, fornication. Fornication going into sexual sins. We don't uh, murder. What? Murder. What? Murder. murder. That's going into black on black crime. Israelite on Israelite crime. We don't uh, right. Right. covetous, uh -huh. wickedness, deceit, lasciviousness, and evil. Ah, and that, evil what? And evil. Ah. Well, we gotta learn to shake it, Israel. Evil eye towards one another, man. The most high God hate that thing, man. Huh. Read verse 25, 7 and 25 again. This is the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 7 and verse 25. Break it out. I applied my heart to know and to search and to seek out wisdom. See, like King Solomon did. One of the wisest, greatest kings ever. He said he applied his heart to seek out wisdom and knowledge, man. Let's get what the wisdom is. Give me Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 5, man. Let's show this brother what the wisdom is because they thinking it's the wisdom of this world. The wisdom of this world is foolishness with God, man. Read this out. Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 5. Break it out. Behold, I have taught you statutes and judgments, even as the Lord my God commanded me. Read on up. That ye should do so in the land whither ye go to possess it. Read on up. Keep that far and do them. Do what? And do them. And what? And do them. Read up. For this is your wisdom. For this is our what? For this is your wisdom. For this is our what? For this is our wisdom. This is our wisdom. Read on up. And understanding in the sight of the nation. Guess what? Keeping the commandments of God is wisdom, brother. That's right. A lot of times they think in Egyptology, Islam, that stuff is garbage, bro. Compared to the wisdom of this Bible, man. Read on up. Is not so great who have God so not unto them. Read on, and huh? the Lord our God is in all things. In all things, man. That's what you need to be calling upon the Lord for, uh, brother. Uh, in all things, helping you to shake that spirit that you got on you, brother. You understand that, man? So the only way you're going to get built up is by being around built up brothers. You understand that? Read this again, huh? This is the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 7, verse 25. Bring it out. I applied my heart to know and to search and to seek out wisdom. Read on, huh? And the reason of things. These King Solomon wanted to know all these different type of things. So what? We didn't have to delve into these things and go off. He wanted to know the good side and the bad side. See, a lot of times wicked Negroes just like to know the bad side, man. But we need to know the good side of that thing. Because that's how you get the kingdom of heaven. We don't know. And to know wickedness. And to know what? And to know wickedness. He wanted to know wickedness so we wouldn't dwell into that thing. We don't know. And to know wickedness of folly. Uh-huh. Even of foolishness. Uh-huh. And madness. And what? And madness. And what? And madness. Because our people are mad out here, brother. Because guess what? Give me Proverbs chapter 21, verse 16. You see why our people is on the bottom of society? Look at, man, just take a look at our nation of people. Who do you see out here? 21 and 16. Who do you mainly see out here? So-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man. The most high God made us to be the kings of the earth, man. Not to be on the bottom of society. Right, right. Smoking and selling cigarettes. Having no clothes on, no place to stay. This is what meant for us, man. Read this hot Proverbs chapter 21 and verse 16. Break it out. The man that wandereth out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. Read that again, huh? The man that wandereth out of the way of understanding. See, when our brothers wander out of the way of the understanding, meaning the commandments, you remain in, in the congregation of the dead. Right, you still walking here, but guess what? You're spiritually dead, brother. Come on, come on. We're trying to break spiritually away. Thank you, brother. You understand that? Read on up. Shall remain in the congregation of the dead. And when our people don't want to keep the commandments, they're going to remain in the congregation That's of right. the dead. Brother, do you believe in the Bible, brother? Do you believe in the Bible, brother? Brother, with the mask on, with the teddy bear. I ain't ready yet. You need to get ready. I ain't ready yet. You need to get ready. We already give you warning whether you're here or whether you're for birth. Give me Psalms 119, verse 659. Give me some rock. Chapter 5, verse 7. Take him up, huh? See, because the Most High God don't give a damn if you're ready or not, man. Hey, hey, hey. When he comes, he's coming. Boy. And you better hope that you're ready, man. Read this. Uh, this is the book of Psalms. Chapter 119 and verse 59. Hold up, hold up. I know you ain't saying you ain't ready because you trying to put Becky over there. That's right. That's right. Come on, man. That's right. That's right. See, that's what it is. See, that's what it is. That's why the Most High God said that they are a snare and a trap unto us, man. That's why he ain't ready. That's all, man. So if they lie, why you walking out with it in, man? Don't be trying to hold the hand when you get on the train and stuff. Give me Deuteronomy 73. Because Negroes think they slick out here. They'll walk behind me. You better watch out, man. Read this. Uh, this is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7, and verse 3. Neither shall they make marriages with them. The Bible said, neither 
shall you make marriages with them. Read on up. Thy daughters thou shalt not give unto his son. Read on up. Nor his daughters shall they take unto thy son. Read on up. For they will turn away thy son from following me. It says, for they will, they will turn away thy son from following me. Just like how she did. She took the brother away from the word. Because he was listening to Becky uh, sent on the scene. That's right. Our enemies. That's right. Esau that the Bible speaks of. Man. Read this up. Nehemiah 13 and 23. Read this again from the top. Uh, Check it out. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7, and ver three. And verse 3. Read it on. Lacking. Neither shall they make marriages with them. Read on up. Thy daughters thou shalt not give unto, uh, unto them. Uh huh. Go ahead, take your time. Start off from the top. From the top. Move your fingers. Neither shall they make marriages with them. Uh huh. Thy daughter thou shalt not give unto his son. Uh huh. Nor his daughters shall they take unto thy son. Read on up. For they will turn away thy son from following me. Read on up. That they may serve other gods. And that's what the other nations do. They cause our people to leave so that they may serve other gods. That's right. Brother, you need to take that green heart out your head, brother. That's a plague according to the Bible. That's right. Come deal with us. Let me show you in the Bible, man. Pull up them damn pants, man. That's gay tendencies, man. That's what they do in prison, man. Man, come, come deal with me, man. Come deal with me, man. Brother out here looking like Pikachu. Brother need to shake that thing, man. Most like God makes you to be a king, brother. Not no damn cartoon character. That's why the other nations take us as a joke, man. Read this up. Nehemiah chapter 13 and verse 23. In those days also saw I Jews that married wives of Ashad, of Asgard, read on up, and of Ammon, and of Moab, of Ammon going into the Chinese and going into the Japanese, read on up, and the children spake half in speech of Asgard, and could not speak in the Jews' language. So guess what? Yeah, come deal with me. I'm going to show you. Give me Leviticus chapter 13 and jump down to verse 53. Come deal with me, brother. Hey, brother. I don't have a whole, I have a wife, brother. That's right. I have a princess at home. Oh, man, and she showed me looking seconds at your behind, man. Out here looking like a mockery out here, man. Like a hot With his pants below his butt, man. Part hug. That's why these nations are shooting us down in the street, man. He just got part. Read this again, huh? In the days also saw I Jew that had married wives of Ashdod. Jump down to verse 24. And the children spake half in speech of Ashdod and could not speak in the Jews' language. And couldn't speak Hebrew. They speak it and knowing all the knowledge of the other nations, but don't know their own heritage. Sister, uh, you know I'm looking, sis. You don't believe what the Bible says, sis? Or you don't like the way that we're bringing it out? Because tell me what have these damn churches did in our neighborhoods? We got a thousand churches in Oak Cliff, and the neighborhood is worse than ever. Damn. They ain't teaching people no commandments. They ain't teaching you who you are, because I bet you don't know who you are according to the Bible. Who are you in the Bible, sis? Please let us know, brother. Do you know who you are? Wake them up. Because our people, that's what they love to do. They love to run their mouth and probably ain't never even picked up a Bible, man. Bring it out, out. Read this again. I'll jump down to verse 25. And I contended with them. That's what we out here doing, contending with them. Correcting them, letting them know they should be doing that. Read on up. And curse them. And smoke certain of them. And guess what? Nehemiah had to smoke certain of them, man. Put his hands on them. That's right. Because this thing is serious That's up right. here. Read on up. And pluck off the hair. And guess what? He pulled some of their hair out. We wish we could snatch some of this weave out, man. That's right. We don't know. And made them swear by God. And made them what? And made them swear by God. And made them what? And made them swear by God. Read up. Saying, ye shall not give your daughters into their son. Read that again, huh? And, and ye shall not give your daughters into their son. Read up. Nor take their daughters into your son. Nor take their daughters into your sons. Read on up. All for yourself. Read on up. Did not Solomon, king of Israel, sin by these things? The wisest, most greatest king ever sinned by these things, man. Let's bring the scripture out of his brother. Leviticus chapter 11, verse 56. No, uh, you're right. Uh, 13, 13. Read this up. This is the book of Leviticus chapter 13 and verse 55. And the priest shall look on the plague after that is washed. That it is washed, so like you. And behold, if the plague have not changed its color, and the plague be not spread, 
spread. Be not what? Be not spread. We don't know. It is unclean. It is what? It is unclean. Brothers and sisters, do y'all know what we out here doing? Do you believe in the Bible, sis? Do you do the things that's in the Bible? Let me show you something that you're not doing. Give me Deuteronomy 22 and 5. <laughs> You believe in the Bible, brother? Come on, let's listen to the scripture. Read this out. Deuteronomy chapter 22 and verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which were tainted unto a man. So a woman should wear pants according to the Bible, brother. And that sister. Read on out. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Read on. For all that do so are an abomination unto the Lord thy God. So guess what? We are teaching our people commandments, man. This brother said he walking around. We're going to keep reviewing this book. Go back to Leviticus chapter 13, verse 50. One. This is the book of Leviticus, chapter 13, and verse 51. Break it out. And he shall look on the plague on the seventh day. Under what? On the seventh day. Because a lot of times our people don't understand that they walk around with plagues, man. And they need to repent from their things. Read on, huh? If the plague be spread in the garment, either in the wrap or in the wolf of the of in a skin, uh -huh. or in any work that is made of skin, read on, huh? The plague. Is a fretting leprosy. Is a what? It is a fretting leprosy. A lot of times our people don't know that they walking around spiritually leopards out here, man. The most high God gave you black woolly hair. Who told you you could change your color hair? Because our people love to wear blonde hair. Give me that Leviticus chapter 13 verse 30. 49. Read this right quick. I did jump down to 49. This is the book of Leviticus chapter 13 and verse 30. 49. Uh, I want this one. Then go down. Shall see the plague, uh -huh. and behold, if it be sight in the sight deeper than the skin, we don't know. And there be, hey, we know you're the devil that the Bible speaks of. That's right. We we love to talk about red devils, but it's a lot of black devils out here too, man. Jump down to verse 49, huh? Verse 49. And if the plague be greenish, be what? Be greenish. Be what? Be greenish. Be what? Be greenish. Like the brother Hal over there. We don't know. Or reddish. Or what? Or reddish. Like the sister Hal over there. We don't know. In the garment. In the what? In the garment. We don't know. Or in the skin. Or in the what? Or in the skin. Or in the skin. Like these sisters and this brother got. Good. Man, making a mockery of our nation. We don't know. Either in the wrap or in the wool. Or in anything of the skin. We don't knock. It is a what? It is a plague of leprosy. It is a what? It is a plague of leprosy. It is a what? It is a plague of leprosy. We don't knock. And shall be shooed unto the priest. And guess what, man? You got to go get clean. You need to repent. Turn back to these commandments. Because did you know that wearing pants is a sin, sis? Did you know that? See, pastor, now read this. All he doing to y'all, read John 316. Give me that tithe. Get your ass up out of my church. Right. 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 you better have my tithe money. They robbing our people blind, man, and our people can't even see it. Why Read this out. Chapter, nine, chapter 1 and verse 8. And it shall come to pass in the day of the Lord's sacrifice that I will punish the prison and the king's children and all such as are called with strange of birth. So guess what? If you're not keeping these commandments when Christ come back, you're going to be put to death, brother. We're trying to wake you up. Do you believe the Bible? Do you believe the Bible? Brother, I'm out here teaching it and living it. Right. That's right. So, so if you believe it, then why you degrade somebody? You supposed to love this man. Brother, we are who rebuking our people, man. Give me some, uh, Isaiah 58 and 1. You a false prophet? We are here trying to correct our people. False prophets ain't gonna tell you what you're doing wrong. Right. Read this, huh? Isaiah chapter 58 and verse 1. wasn't our stir, man. We don't know. And sue my people. And do what? And sue my, my people. Don't no, give them a ghetto pack. And sue my, my people. Read up their transgression. Read on. And the house of Jacob, their sin. Guess what? We are here to correct you, brother. Uh, give me that in 2nd Ezra chapter 1, verse 5. Reading the same thing in the apocryphal. For these wicked damn apologetics. Talking about they ain't quoting from the apocryphal. They got to be out of their damn mind, brother. We out here for you, man. Bro, this camera's everywhere, man. That's right. What the hell you talking for? Read this, huh? Send it as chapter 1 and verse 5. Go thy way. Do what? Go, go thy way. way. The Bible says go thy way. Read on out. And shoot my people that sinful deeds. Guess what? We out here to show you your sinful deeds.
peace, man. You don't like that smoke because that smoke is reserved for holy men, man. That's right. That's right. And it turned away wicked spirits. Read this again. I go that way and shoot all people that sinful deeds. We out here to show our people that sinful deeds. We're going to bring it up. And it's just a laugh at folly, man. Our people get shot down by the police and they think it's a gang. And instead of being oppressed on the bottom, riding the bus, on the bottom of society, thinking this is natural, this ain't how Israelites is made. But you need to take out that bandana and come put on these fringes for the Lord, man. Brother, come show me what a false prophet is, man. Drop that, give me James chapter 2, verse 17. Because we're showing you. Yo, you give me uh, Jeremiah chapter 23. Uh, 17. Read this right quick, huh? This is the book of James, chapter 2, and verse 17. Even so, man. if it had not works, it's dead being alone. So guess what? We showing you our works by our faith, man. Because guess what? If people trying to say that they got faith without keeping the commandments, your butt getting put to death, man. That's right. That's right. People thinking they just going to go into the kingdom without having to do nothing. People out of their damn mind, man. That's right. Christ require us to keep the commandments. Read this up. Jeremiah uh, chapter 23 and verse 16. Thus said the Lord of hosts, hearken not unto the words of the prophets that prophesy unto you. Read that again, huh? Thus said the Lord of hosts, hearken not unto the words of the prophets that prophesy unto you. Read on. They make you vain. They do what? They make you vain. See, because guess what? Christianity taught that brother he can have his heart like that. You believe in his truth, brother? Yeah. You do the things that's in the Bible, brother. Yeah. How many commandments are there? It's more than 10. Let me give you one. Give me Leviticus chapter 21, verse 5. It's more than 10 commandments, brothers, because whereas thou shalt not rape in the 10 commandments. Read this out. In Leviticus chapter 21, and verse 5. Break it out. Break it out. Thou shalt not make baldness upon thy head. So it's a sin for us to bald our head like Michael Jordan. We don't know. Neither shall they shave out the corners of their beard. Read that last part again for the book. Neither shall they shave out the corners of their beard. Do you understand what that means? What does it mean, brother? Don't shave your beard. So can you grow a beard out? Grow what little as you can, brother. Because guess what? That's a commandment. That's right. He lines up here, brother. That's right. That's why they cut our spirits in slavery, brother. Uh. To keep us in that little boy mentality. Right. That little boy spirit. And that thing to carry down from generations uh. to generations till now, brother. That's right. But we're trying to break that thing. That's we're trying right. to shake that, man. That's right. And you shake it by what? Keeping the commandments, brother. That's These things ain't hard to do. What day should you be going to church on and worshiping the most high? Is that in the Bible? What scripture is that? Give me Exodus chapter 20 verse 8. You stay where you at, all. Let's see what the Bible says. Because they have told us that it's what, Sunday? But who taught us that, brother? We learned that it's slavery, man. That's right. Slave That's right. That's right. That also was passed down from generations. From 1619 all the way up until today. Read this out. This is the book of Exodus chapter 20 and verse 8. Bring it out. Remember the Sabbath day. See, the Most High God said remember the Sabbath day because he knew from a disposition of time from slavery we was going to be taught it wrong. You understand? We don't know. To keep it holy. We don't. Six days shall they labor and do all thy work. Brother, what is the first day of the week? Sunday. So it says six days shall thy labor and do all thy work. We don't know. But the seventh day, but the what? But the seventh day, but the what? But the seventh day. What's the seventh day of the week? Say it again. Say it again. What is the seventh day of the week, bro? Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So what is the seventh day? According to the Bible. Saturday. Right. Read this again for the brother. But the seventh day. But the what? But, but the, the seventh, seventh day, day. But the what? But, but the, the seventh day. day read it up. Is the seventh of the Lord thy God. So what is the seventh day? Say it again. No. What is the seventh day? What is the Sabbath day? According to the Bible. According to that scripture we just read. What day should you be going to church on? Say it again. See how people can't shake it? The Bible just says Saturday was the seventh day. Which is the seventh day. So you should be going to church on Saturday, brother.
hard, then that's what you gon' get with that war. War, Jeremiah 51 and 20. Battle axes, God's weapons of war. We them battle axes, God's weapons of war. We on the corner and we ready for war. And I know you ain't seen nothing like this before. We the battle axes, God's weapons of war. We the battle axes, God's weapons of war.